Welcome back to another message crawler update. Today I'm going to show you updates I made to Bloomberg import and convert tools. Now those were the earlier tools that I wrote in message crawler and I haven't updated them in a really long time and boy do they need updating. The user interface is updated, the colors are weird. Anyway, let's go to the computer and I'll show you what I did for Bloomberg import as well as convert utilities. All right, first we're going to navigate to import and you'll see I transferred Bloomberg instant from version five to six. So we're going to go here and now we have our usual things where we can give it import name, assign custodian, things like that. So all we're gonna do is say uh, import Bloomberg instant. This is where we're loading data into the grid and the data is instant messages. Now you see here in folder, I have some email data which is uh, designated by the letter B, st stands for Bloomberg, and IB stands for Instant Bloomberg. So these are emails, these are instant messages. Now this specific tool can only load uh, IB, which is instant messages. But if we accidentally select some extra and hit open, we'll get an error message letting us know that some files were not loaded because they're not compatible with instant. They're not text messages, but the ones that were text messages did get loaded here. So we now have very clear indication to a user that certain files do not belong there or they need to be converted differently. How differently you may ask? Well, using convert Bloomberg email tool. And here what we're gonna do is say select folder with messages. And now we have sort of an opposite thing happening. So we have a list of all the files and all the Bs, which are emails, are marked for conversion, and IBs are not marked for conversion, and there is an error message indicating that these files will not be converted. Uh, so now you can uh, perform your conversion by clicking the Start button, and you'll get your data exported to this folder. Now what you'll notice is first two converted fine, and these had errors, and they say an attachment is not found. Uh, because I don't have attachments for those, but for the demo it is fine. And these still have that uh, error message saying not an email. So after the conversion, you definitely want to examine the grid and make sure everything is good there. Now if we look at the output now, so go to the export folder, I changed file name, file name in a little bit. So I have my original XML name followed by message number out of how many messages, so one out of 31, two out of 31, so we know how many messages we have, and then message ID. So if you need to find this message, you can copy this and search for it in original XML in case you need to do any kind of quality control. Now, the uh, one of the things that people did like in the older version is using date in the file name. And what this does, is it basically names it with a date first and then message ID. And what you're able to do now is sort everything. It automatically sorts chronologically. So if you're looking for a specific date range, you can say, oh, I only need, you know, specific months, you know, and you can just grab that specific month and then copy it to a folder and process it, whatever. So this is one of the ways you can do super quick pre-filtering uh, using insert date in front of a file name. So those are my updates for Bloomberg import and Bloomberg convert. Hope you're gonna like them. Please let me know any feedback you have and I will see you on another message crawler update.